I have bought many used server grade SSDs over the years. I have found their prices, performance, and specs to be quite attractive compared to new SSDs at the time. But with new SSDs having their prices dropping very quickly recently, the prices are about the same between a used server grade SSD and a new SATA or NVMe SSD. So I wanted to compare many different drives on a few different workloads to see how these compare and see what would be the better buy for something like a home lab or workstation system. For testing, I have a few drives here to represent different classes of drives. I have an 870 EVO to represent a SATA SSD. I have an SN550. This is a fairly cheap new 2TB SSD. It is a DRAMless drive. For my server grade drives, I have a Sun F320, which is a rebranded Samsung PM1725, capable of up to 5.5 gigabytes per second read speeds and up to a million IOPS. This drive looks very impressive on paper and comes at a reasonable price on eBay too. I have an Intel 910 SSD, which is a older drive and actually has an LSI HBA on it with four SATA controllers and lots of NAND flash packages. This drive is over 10 years old now, but it's still pretty impressive with about two gigabytes per second read speeds. I have a SAS 200 gigabyte HGST drive here to represent a SAS SSD. Another difference between these drives is power consumption. The consumer grade drives use quite a bit less power. This Intel 910 SSD was the most power hungry of all my drives, pulling up to 25 watts more than my low power consumer grade drives likely due to all the different controllers and chips running on this board. And the other thing is, all that power gets turned into heat. And these drives are often designed for relatively high airflow cases. Let's take a look at performance now. On the screen is some crystal disk mark results from all of these drives. And I'm guessing you're likely going to look for the biggest number right now. And while that number is impressive on the Sun F320, especially considering it's from 2015, that's not the most important number in most workloads. In most workloads, latency and low QDF work performance is much more important. And the number on the bottom left represents that. And the winner of that category is the SN570. And I want to take a look at these results in a bit different way by running some tests of some semi-realistic workloads. I used a tar test where I took a tar ball and extracted all the files from it. And then I used the find command to search for all the files matching something and delete those. as kind of a way of testing the file system performance. And here's the results from the tarball extraction test. The SN570 wins by quite a bit, which is interesting because if you look at the Sun F320, it looks better on paper. It has higher read speeds, higher write speeds, and more IOPS. But likely the newer processor on these new drives is able to deal with the data a lot faster, so many workloads, like extracting this tarball, happen a lot faster. Taking a look at my file processing test, this drive wins yet again. And to add a little bit of context, here are these graphs with a hard drive added in. All the SSDs look so much better than the hard drive in this comparison, so if you're upgrading from mechanical storage, almost any SSD will give you a huge jump up. At this point, the server-grade SSDs are looking like a pretty bad value. Their performance is worse, and they use a lot of power. But I'm going to take a look at what these drives are good at now, which is write performance. The first thing to take a look at is sustained write performance. And this is where the consumer-grade drives like the SN570 start looking really bad. 1.7 gigabytes per second for a little bit, and then it drops to about 500 megabytes per second for the rest of the drive. While these server grade drives maintain much higher speeds throughout the whole drive. These server grade drives also have very impressive write endurance. This F320 is rated at about five drive rates per day for a five year warranty, which is roughly 30 petabytes of data you can write to it. While these consumer grade drives are roughly one petabyte. But I find out for a lot of like home server and smaller server uses, it's really hard to even write that much data. I was actually looking at a small business server once that was running Hyper-V with about 10 Windows VMs, and it was only writing about 100 terabytes a year. So even consumer grade drives are lasting six years in that workload. Another aspect of these drives is how easy it is to use in a system. SATA drives work in almost any semi-modern system, plug and play, easy to boot off of. NVMe drives like these are pretty easy to use on almost any system from about 2015 and onward. It's easy to boot from an NVMe drive and it's pretty much plug and play in any modern operating system. Getting to this Intel 910, it gets a lot more complicated because it's essentially four drives in one. It shows up as four drives in your operating system and you have to run RAID on it or deal with it as four different drives. I normally ran RAID 0 for all of my tests because it made a good amount of sense and gave me the best performance. If you have a system that is capable of SAS drives, these SAS drives are plug and play and super easy to use. 
but if your system doesn't already have SAS support, you need a SAS HBA or something like this, which is another component that goes in a PCI Express slot. After looking at all these tests I ran, these little M.2 NVMe drives are looking pretty appealing. The price is similar to all the other drives per gigabyte, they ran away with the performance benchmarks, they are fairly low power, it's pretty easy to use them in almost any system, especially with these little PCIe adapters you can get very cheaply, and while the right performance isn't the best, it's still pretty good. These used server drives can also make some sense if you can get them very cheap on eBay, but looking at the recent eBay prices, the prices for these used server grade drives have stayed relatively stable, but these new M.2 consumer grade drives have been dropping very quickly recently, making it a much harder sell to get these used server grade drives. Let me know what drives you're using in your server workstation and how they're performing for you.